lots of skyscrapers and beautiful views and jet skis and male and female strippers just walking on the streets. And one day, you know, I was on the beach twerking on the sandbar with one of my friends. And we're twerking on the sandbar. And then she's like, okay, I have other plans. Yeah, I gotta go. I'm like, okay, this guy messaged me on Grindr, wants to meet me at the gate club. Like, I'm gonna meet this guy and we're gonna dance for once before we fuck. That's nice. And so I'm on my way driving. And as an American, I don't like to follow rules. So I was like, let me just check Grindr real quick. And I was heading over to meet this other guy and he seemed pretty excited, I mean, but then this other, so in the gay community we have discreet, discreet is shh, don't tell anyone. So this discreet profile message me, it says, come over. And I'm like, what? Like, I, I have plans, I have things, and you didn't send me a face. He goes, no, come over, I promise, like, you can, you'll like this. I'm like, okay. <laughs> So I drive to his address because he sends location because that's you, what you can do on Grindr, you send location. And I get there and I get fucking valet parking. Bloop. And I'm like, okay. And he goes, yeah, ask Eric, 27. I'm like, okay. Eric, 27. They're like, hello, Eric, we have a guest for you. Yes, okay. Go in the elevator. I'm like, okay. So I get in the elevator, I'm in the elevator, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. And then I'm like, wait, how many? Oh, there's only 27 floors. Guess I'm going to the, my ears pop. I'm like, oh shit, we're in the room. <laughs> so uh, the elevator opens to your regular average hallway and I go to the door and I knock and opens the door. And there is this man, very sexy redheaded man. And we just look at each other for a second and we're like, <laughs> and we're making out through the hallway. <laughs> And then he stops me and I turn around and I see all of Miami around me. And I'm just like, holy fuck, who am I fucking right now? And so I was like, okay, you know what? Um, let's calm down. Let's smoke a joint real quick, okay. So we smoke a joint, I know sweets aren't so okay with that, but I'm from Miami, we're in Miami settings. So we, and I'm like, fuck yeah, let's do this. We go up to his loft, because he has a loft, and we go up. And he just like gets naked, ass up, and his ass was amazing, beautiful, like fucking delicious. So I'm eating Brickle Daddy's ass, and then he's like, all right, I wanna fuck. So I'm like, if I get let's fuck. So I get there, I get behind, I start fucking, he goes, wait, let's turn around and get the view. And I was like, fuck yeah, let's get the view. And I'm fucking, and I see all of Miami, and I just thought of Lion King, when Mufasa told Simba, Simba, whatever the light touches is yours. And then we kept fucking, and I was like, good thing the light's on, because it's nighttime. And uh, yeah, and then, oh, and then he said my favorite quote, that's the point. So I think every guy has that quote they want on a shirt during sex. So I'm just fucking him, looking at all of Miami, and I hear, you got that dick! And I was like, wow, that'd be great on a t-shirt. That's it. Alex, ladies and gentlemen.